Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming another haul video. This is going to be part two. I usually try to wait until the end of the month to film a haul video, but I did film one for the Ulta 20% off coupon. That is going up a little bit later than I had anticipated, but there's been so many new releases that I've been trying to cover those, so the haul video kind of had to take a back seat. Anyway, I decided to appoint a drawer in my beauty room as my new product drawer so I put things in there even if I am using them currently so I can remember to do a haul video at the end because I do want to try and just make it one haul video not have like multiple hauls in a month so let me know if you guys have any thoughts on that if that's something you like don't like I'm always open to feedback also I do have a haul playlist so if you're one of those people that loves to sit and binge watch some videos definitely check that out as well Thank you guys for joining me. Without further ado, let's get into this. So the first thing I wanted to show you guys is kind of a life hack, but I know Costco, at least in my Costco, they sell this giant container of makeup removing wipes, and I actually really like these Neutrogena ones. I've tried a few of the other shades, like there's a pink one, a green one. Those are the two I can think of, and I'm not a huge fan of those ones. The blue ones are just what works for me. And so I picked these up from Costco, so you get 114 palettes. You get four refill containers and then two travel size, which have a seven count of wipes in them. So this lasts me a good amount of time. Again, I picked up, picked them up from Costco, and I actually have these little like corresponding containers. I have two of them, one here in my beauty room and then one in our master bathroom, and these are what I use in my first step of taking off my makeup. So just wanted to mention in case you guys were looking for a good deal on those, Costco carries them in bulk, at least the one in my neighborhood. So just wanted to let you guys know. Now this was something I am very excited for. I placed this order when I was in Sri Lanka and I finally received my pre-order. I have not done a swatch party on these palettes yet. I'm kind of holding on to them because I want to do like a review and stuff. But I, again, so many palettes, who can keep up? But I ordered these a while ago and actually they launched the Paleo palette first, I believe last year. And then they stopped making it and I was like, shoot, like I really want it but I couldn't get it anymore so then they decided to bring it back and I bought the bundle with their new palette which I'm going to show you next but this is the Paleo palette. This is gorgeous. It is by the brand Clinod Cosmetics which is a Canadian indie brand. I have talked about them a little bit before. I actually have some of their single shadows as well. I do want to show those to you guys but you know all in due time so I will get to reviewing those but these palettes are so cool. They are hand painted by these girls. I believe it's like two girls that run the company and this is their newest palette which is the Arkeo palette and if you guys obviously you know my friend Angelica Nyquist here on YouTube she actually did the look book type you know pictures for this palette so there's a little pamphlet that you get with the palette which I can't find right now but Angelica's in it and I think it's super cool so I love this guy and I just think it's so cool that they hand paint the palette so if you want to support a cool indie brand that's definitely one of them. Another cool indie brand that I like is Luxie Beauty. This is their Summer Sinner collection. I'm going to have a swatch party video of these up for you guys soon. If you want to see them sooner, Angelica has a video swatching these. I just thought these colors were super duper cool. I missed it when these launched because I was trying to be good and I didn't want to buy them. But then when they restocked them, I was like, shit, I want it. So I bought it. Mostly I was really attracted to this bright pink shade. So I'm so, so excited to play with these some more. And in case you guys are wondering, this is a Z palette. And I was actually able to grab some of these on sale on the Z palette website. So... I don't know, this is just the easiest way for me to organize my single shadows is these, this particular size of Z palette. I've tried the big ones, I've tried smaller ones, but I just think like I want to have a more uniform single eyeshadow collection and I feel like this size works really well for me. So I will do a full like showing you guys a collection of my single eyeshadows, but for right now this is what I store them in and I do really like this like iridescent palette. So. Just wanted to tell you guys about that as well in case you were wondering where I got it from. Now I'm going to take a little break from eyeshadow palettes and show you guys some other stuff I picked up. I did pick up the right shade of the Born This Way multi-use sculpting concealer for me. I did end up with the shade Warm Sand. This is made in Italy, has a 12 month shelf life. You get 0.5 ounces of product which is great. This is basically half the size of a foundation if I'm right because a foundation is usually one ounce. So you get about half of that and I like it so far. I'm wearing it today. I like the size of the doe foot applicator and I actually really like this foundation. The only thing is the shade I initially bought 
I felt like kind of would turn ashy on me so I wasn't a huge fan of the shade I got and I haven't gone back to trying and color match myself again maybe I will someday but I'm really loving the Huda foundation right now so I'm just gonna try and finish up some foundations before I add more to my collection the other thing I did buy this is kind of random but I've been really into these like little invisibobbles and they actually came out with a smaller size so these are really nice because you can kind of get them around your ponytail a few extra times compared to the other ones I believe this is the original brand that made these like phone cord looking hair ties and basically they're supposed to reduce the amount of kinks in your hair so yeah these are cute I picked these up from Sephora and this one is like a rainbow color I don't know if you can see it I haven't broken into that one yet but I just wanted to show you guys in case you were looking for some new hair ties Another thing I did pick up, and there is a swatch party video coming for this as well, this is my new Sugar Pill Pro Palette. I've only used it like one time, but it's gorgeous. This is definitely an investment, so I would not suggest just running out and getting it. I definitely tried to put some research into it when I purchased it. I don't have a full review of it yet, so I can't tell you yay or nay yet because it is a very pricey palette, but I'm glad I have it, and I will definitely film a review video with my full thoughts for you guys of course as soon as I can. This was a random buy on sale because this was one of the Sephora Weekly Wows and I don't know if I'm actually going to keep this palette. It was kind of an impulse purchase but I actually don't own any other palettes from Too Faced and this is the Too Faced Chi Matte palette and this was on sale for like 22 bucks. So I ended up buying it because I've heard nothing but good things about this palette. But I feel like recently I've been buying so many matte palettes I'm also like really like really Karen so I don't know if I'll keep it I'm kind of on the fence I don't know if I should just like save it for a Christmas present or a birthday present for somebody but it was a really good buy if you guys don't know Sephora does like a couple items on sale every week so they start usually Thursday and then they end Wednesday so you have a whole week to purchase the products and I picked up some cool things from that sale so definitely keep an eye out if you're interested in something like that I also picked up a subscriber recommendation this is the NYX proof it waterproof eyeshadow primer oh my gosh this so far I've been loving I don't like a lot of products from NYX and I haven't been buying NYX products for a long time because I used to buy their stuff a lot in college but I've kind of moved on from them but this stuff is actually really good I was just talking about like having a good eyeshadow primer and somebody told me to try this and it honestly does feel like it really like glues my shadows on. I've been using this in combination with the Jeffree Star blood trigger palette and it's been working so well so I don't know if it's just the eyeshadows that are really good or if it's this concealer. Um, I have a feeling it's a combination of the two but I've really been enjoying this and it's so affordable so if you're looking for a good eyeshadow concealer I couldn't recommend this to you guys enough. Okay, here is another palette because, again, you guys know I'm crazy about palettes. So this is the Makeup Monsters Cosmetics Dragon Child Palette. Never bought anything from this brand, but I've told you guys a hundred times on my channel I'm so determined to try as many indie brands as I can. And this is one that they set up a pre-order for, so I pre-ordered it and I got it. And it is so, so pigmented. Again, I will have a swatch party video coming for you guys if it is up I will link it in the cards otherwise just don't forget to subscribe so you get notified when I upload but yeah this is a really cool palette this blue shade oh my gosh I have not worn this on my eyes yet so you know don't uh, go out and buy it without me reviewing it for you guys if that's what you're interested in but initially just from swatches it is so pigmented and yeah I like the concept and I was very happy to support an indie brand and I believe it is a woman owned brand as well now another thing that kind of broke the internet this month I felt like everyone was talking about these by Beauty lip glosses. These are the French Press lip glosses and I got the shade Dirty Chai. I was really interested in this because they said it was like a coffee theme. They were supposed to be like coffee scented or taste or something. But I honestly don't taste any coffee. I mean you can smell it. It's like a very light hint of the coffee scent. So I don't know. I feel like this is a little bit overhyped for what I thought it was. but. It's a good gloss and I don't have a lot of things for Bite Beauty. They do basically all lip products and they do a lot of bullet lipsticks and I just find liquid lipsticks to be just easier for me. The great thing about this brand though is they're like very like natural and you can basically like eat your lip gloss and you're not going to like, not that you're going to die from eating gloss but <laughs> it's just very like clean good products so I like that about it but is this like a revolutionary lip gloss that you need to go out and buy? Definitely not. 
I was so attracted to the shades. I was like, oh my gosh, maybe I should buy like more than one shade. Um, but I'm glad I just got the one and had a chance to test it out because I really don't think it's like that mind blowing of a lip gloss. Speaking of things that didn't blow my mind, <laughs> I was not planning on picking this up, but then I saw Trendwood posted that this palette was available. So of course I was super duper tempted and I did buy the Moroccan Spice Palette by Fenty Beauty. I do have a get ready with me type video coming up with me using this palette and you guys need to watch it because oh my gosh, these shades looked so cool on my eyes and they worked so well, they blended so great. The shimmers are super shimmery. I don't wanna, you know, spoil it too much for you guys because you need to go check it out. But yeah, so far I'm actually really impressed with this palette. Well, I haven't tried her other eyeshadow palette, the one that came out for Christmas because it was an all shimmer palette. So it's curious to see what Fenty would do. This palette is a little bit expensive. I don't know if that's because of the packaging and stuff. Also, it only has a nine month shelf life, which is not typically standard. Usually they have at least a 12 month shelf life. So bit of a rocky start there, but I don't know. I like it so far. So I will definitely review that for you guys as well. But I wanted you guys to know that if you've been considering it, you might want to do it because it's actually a pretty good palette. Some other random things I got. This I'm so excited for. This is just a sample, but it's the Ula Hendrickson Coal Plunge Pore Mask, and it's a deeply purifying pore mask that reduces oil with clay and snow lotus extract. So this is the one that is blue on your face and it's supposed to have like a cool tingling sensation. So I was so happy that I was able to get it as a 100 point perk on Sephora. So, so excited for this. And yeah, you guys know I like greens, blues, so I'm excited for that mask. And then I also did pick up the ABH Norvina palette. Now this palette actually I didn't really know what to expect as far as the shades go. People were saying like, oh, it's kind of lackluster, blah, 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 blah. And then I decided to pick it up because I felt like, you know what, I kind of do like to collect ABH palettes and I really liked the Soft Glam palette. So I did buy it. Honestly, just looking at it, it's kind of a boring palette. It's not anything like, oh my gosh, like this is the purple palette. Look at how vibrant the shades are. No, definitely not. But this is a great everyday purple palette. So if you gravitate towards purples and you want something that is going to be work appropriate, this might be that palette for you. And yeah, I'm just glad I picked it up and I will definitely review it for you guys. I do have a swatch party video in case you want to see the shades on tan skin. It's kind of a boring swatch party video, but I'll probably edit it and upload it for you guys. So definitely, you know, stay tuned for that. This also just came in today. I'm so excited. This is the Afrique palette by Juvia's Place. I will have a swatch party go up on this guy pretty soon as well and I'm excited to review it for you. This is what it looks like in case you haven't seen it and Jewish Place did just announce that they will be carried at Ulta stores. So if you guys are interested and you've been afraid to buy directly from Jewish Place, now is your chance but honestly these palettes are like I haven't bought a bad palette yet so just saying that. And then the last few things I want to show you are these guys and this I just bought because I saw it on Target's website and I do really like the Wet n Wild brushes. So this is their uh, brush from the Flights of Fantasy collection. It's a blush brush from them and I just really thought it was cute so I'm pretty sure I'm going to keep it and I really like their brushes. I have that brush set that they released for like 20 bucks I think in the winter time over the holidays and so I just wanted to try it out and see so cute so love that next is this new shade from the master chrome by face studio this is a metallic highlighter in the shade molten peach from maybelline did i say that already these highlighters are amazing and i'm so pumped that maybelline keeps coming out with more shades the first one they did was that gold one then they did is this the only one i have i think this is the only one i have other than the gold one but it's so pigmented and I'm so glad because it's just like a great affordable drugstore highlight. They also came out with a shade for darker skin, which is great. They have a white one that's like a pearl color. And then they did a purple or maybe two purples. I saw them recently at my Walmart. And I wanted to pick up the white one and the purple one. But I was like, really, Karen, you don't need any more highlights. So I was able to restrain myself. Here is another thing I've been dying to play with. But I wanted to film this video before I rip this out of the packaging. This is one of the new Stila... Shimmering Glows, this is like a little collection they came out with and this green one, just like, you guys know I love green, so I got the shade in Vivid Jade and yeah, I haven't swatched this yet, so I think I'm going to have to do that and yeah, as soon as they came available, oh my gosh, this is beautiful, on Sephora.com, I just like had to do it. Ooh, this is pretty. 
That is so vibrant. Oh my gosh. I'm going to need to put that on my lid. So there is the shade Vivid Jade in case you guys were wondering. There's also like a blue, a purple. I think they did a red. Um, but I decided to just grab the green and be done. Uh, oh, I forgot to show you guys this. I did get a little free single shadow from Cleanod as well. That was something they had promised if you bought those two palettes that you were going to get a little free shadow. So I got this like pretty like purpley black smoky color. So that's really cute. And then the last things I want to show you in this haul video are my new palettes from Ace Beauté. I was so excited when I saw that these were launching, so I picked up the whole set. They actually messed up on my order though and only sent me the three and then they sent me another one of the greens. So they're having me mail this back to them, not this one, the other one that I didn't open and they'll send me the purple one. So hopefully then I will have all four of them. I have swatched these palettes so I will throw up the swatch party video in the cards. I have not worn these on my eyes yet, so I don't know how good they are, but overall by the swatches, I was really impressed. I feel like I've heard mixed reviews from people. A lot of people are saying these palettes aren't very good or there's like inconsistencies in the shade, so I'm not really sure. I based my buying decision off my experience with their first palette, which was the quintessential palette, and I really liked that palette. So hopefully these ones are good too. Definitely let me know if you've been wanting to try out Ace Beauté or if you bought any of these palettes, I'd be really, really curious to hear your thoughts. Okay guys, I did talk pretty fast in this video, so hopefully you caught everything. I have so much fun filming haul videos, so thank you so much for watching and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like haul videos and I will see you in my next video soon. Bye guys!